Hey everyone, today I'm going to walk you through downloading and installing VMware Workstation Pro on a Windows system. This powerful software allows you to run multiple operating systems as virtual machines on a single computer. So, let's dive right in. First things first, you'll need to purchase VMware Workstation Pro from the VMware website. It's a paid software, but they offer a free trial if you want to test it out first. Once you have your license sorted, it's time to download the installer. Head over to the VMware Downloads page, find Workstation Pro for Windows, and hit that download button. The file is pretty large, so this might take a few minutes. Got your installer downloaded? Great! Now locate the downloaded file. It usually ends up in your Downloads folder unless you specified another location. Double-click on the executable file to get started. You'll be greeted by the installation wizard. First up in the wizard is the welcome screen. Just click next here, then review and accept the license terms. I know it's tempting to just scroll through and hit accept, but it's good to be aware of what you're agreeing to. Next, you'll face a couple of options for customizing your installation. You can change the installation location if you're tight on space on your C drive, or just roll with the default settings. You'll also see options to check for product updates on startup and to join the VMware Customer Experience Improvement Program. Adjust these according to your preference. After that, just hit next and then install. Now sit back for a bit because this is going to take a few minutes. You'll see a progress bar showing the installation status. It's a perfect time to grab a coffee. Once the installation finishes, you'll get a prompt to reboot your system. Go ahead and restart to complete the setup. After rebooting, launch VMware Workstation Pro from the Start menu or Desktop shortcut. The first time you open it, you might need to enter your license key, so keep that handy. And there you go. VMware Workstation Pro is all set up on your Windows machine. You can now start creating new virtual machines, installing different operating systems, and experimenting without risking your main system. Thanks for sticking with me through this guide. Dive in, explore, and make the most of your new virtual environment. If you have any questions or hit any snags, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorials. Catch you in the next one.